Class, may I have your attention? You've arrived here today filled with unscientific notions. Notions of gods with magical powers and creators without physical bodies. Well, now is the time to clear your minds of all you've heard before and allow me to fill them with the truth. This, then, is how we actually came to be. We interrupt this program for a special presentation of the metaphorical, metaphysical, dueling dynamos, the Meta Wrestlers. In the beginning, there was matter. And matter was condensed into one single tiny ball. No, much smaller than that. And then space began to expand, and matter with it. And there was time. This is what we call the Big Bang, a very rapid but highly ordered expansion. Oh, excuse and me, Dr. Atheist? Yes. Where did matter come from? Matter is eternal. Is that what the evidence shows? That is the only scientifically acceptable view. What about decay? You know, thermodynamics and all that Shh. stuff. Allow me to continue. Now, what wait, caused it, the matter to expand, sir? It simply did. Well, now, wait, why was it orderly? The laws of nature. Now, listen and be instructed. Well, where when, did the laws come from? They were, they are, they always will be. Hmm. Sounds like something I've heard about God. No, this is science. <laughs> Hydrogen formed, stars formed, galaxies formed, planets formed from stardust until life formed. Dr. Atheist, what do you mean by life formed? It formed. There was water and warmth, lightning and gases, amino acids, DNA, the code, mutations and selection. The conditions were right and life was inevitable. Simple enough for even a child to understand. Oh. First bacteria, and then trilobites, and then fish, and then horses, apes, and from apes to homo sapiens. Then to the pinnacle of evolution, college professors. Wow, Dr. Atheist, stuff sure uh, forms, doesn't it? Why, yes, it does. On its own, matter by chance produced us. Yes, matter and time, chance and laws, no God required. But doesn't it take faith to actually believe that? No, science makes faith unnecessary. Are you questioning science? No, sir, but I'm having a hard time with the creative powers you see in chance. Then you fail. Given enough time, chance will do. Plus, science has delivered us from the need of plan and purpose and faith and superstitious beliefs like God. And what's more... Science allows no supernatural interference with nature. But I thought science meant following the evidence to the best conclusion, not avoiding certain conclusions. What do you mean? I can see that things have evolved, but it seems like there was a directionality to it, like someone was steering, like there was a plan behind it all. You mean as though we were the intended result of the process from the beginning? That's it. The line from hydrogen to us looks intentional, not random. You're thinking too much. You're taxing yourself. It's laws, time, and chance. No plan needed. Get that into your head. Well, it's in my head, actually, but it's stuck and the wheels are spinning. I could see why some people might believe there's a mind behind it all. You know, like, God? Silence! Evolutionary biology has shown that we are merely animals, shaped by natural selection for breeding. And you shouldn't trust that randomly altered ape brain of yours with such lofty conclusions. I'm sorry, sir. I'll stop thinking so much. Whatever you say all the way. But I was wondering, is it your own brain, as awesome as it is, just a randomly altered ape brain as well? Selected for breeding <laughs> <and> all. 
Do you expect to pass this class? I was hoping to, sir. Do you want a degree in science? Yes, sir. Do you want to be published in the scientific journals? Do you want grant money for research? Yes, sir, and, and yes. Then never question Darwin and never mention God. We have a consensus, and it must not be disturbed. You play by our rules, or you don't play at all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was getting hot in here. Caution. Rat mutations frequently cause birth defects, gross deformities, cancer, and sickle cell anemia. Before inducing changes, be sure to consult the creator who knows what he's doing when modifying highly complex and tightly integrated genomes.